Hello everyone. This is Group Three's presentation about domestic waste landfill science. Today, we'll introduce the domestic waste landfill gas and leachate production in both microbiology and chemistry aspects. We'll also talk about modern landfill design to minimize harmfulness for landfill gas and leachate. Landfill gas production. Landfill gas is composed mostly of methane and carbon dioxide. But also trace amounts of other gases like nitrogen, oxygen, water vapor, and hydrogen sulfide. In these parts, we、we'll、mainly look at gas generation mechanism, and there are three primary causes of landfill gas, namely volatilization, biological decomposition, and chemical reactions. Volatilization happens when the chemical phase equilibrium change, and particularly. When organic compounds change from liquid or solid into a vapor, and this process will be accelerated when biological activity increases the site's temperature. Biological decomposition will produce methane and carbon dioxide in large amounts, and these can be break down into four phases, both in aerobic and anaerobic degradation. This chart shows the different gas content changes during the whole process. Chemical reaction could be hard to predict as there are so many different contents present in the waste, but heat tends to accelerate the release rate, and most common byproduct is non-methane organic compounds. The landfill leachate is a kind of waste water generated by the unreasonable pile of waste plus rain and snow, and the infiltration of the surface and groundwater. The primary stage of infiltration occurs. It promotes and assists the decomposition of bacteria and fungi. Especially, food waste is highly degradable as the process progresses and byproducts are produced. All available oxygen is quickly depleted, creating a toxic environment. In the decomposition of waste, and temperature raises and the pH drops rapidly. Which cause metals that were stable in a neutral environment to now be active in solution. If not treated, the leachate can easily cause water pollution. The key point of mineral landfill gas is preventing generation of the substance of concern in the landfill gas, or converting the component to a benign form before it released. According to the process, the first step is the reduction and control of the landfill gas. Impermeable barriers and passive venting are common methods for reducing landfill gas. The second step is pretreatment, which could remove water and particulate from gas stream. Then, secondary treatment will remove unwanted trace components. Combustion is the most common technique for treating and using landfill gas, which is an efficient method for destroying organic compounds in landfill gas and generating heat or energy. An additional benefit of combustion is that methane is converted into carbon dioxide, which results in a large reduction in greenhouse gas impact. And lastly, the byproduct will be reduced in the post-combustion utilization. Here is the landfill leachate minimization method. There are two main aspects to against the pollution. One is to prevent it beforehand. The next one is to minimize after the pollution exists. To prevent, there are three primary subsystems: the barrier system below the waste, using impermeable materials. And landfill operations, and also the landfill cover and gas collection system, which is one of the most important part in the whole system. To minimize, people are using liquid refrigeration technology, which is one of the most economical technology in the recent years, as shown in the graphs using infiltration technology, and also the long-term assessment, which is monitoring the whole system and the landfill site in long period of time to prevent. The pollution exists. So, in conclusion, landfill gas is caused by volatilization, biological decomposition, and chemical reaction. Landfill leachate production is also related to organic and inorganic materials. For minimization, the impermeable barriers and gas collection systems are two effective ways to control the harmfulness. So that's all. Thank you.